We all had fun with Hasbro PulseCon. Now we got Hasbro 1027 coming up. What does that mean for Power Rangers? Let's talk about it. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> Welcome to the Legacy of Nerd. My name is Daniel. And today we're going to talk about what may happen for the Power Rangers brand on Hasbro Pulse's 1027. So I was actually talking to one of my friends the other day and he was asking me something about the future of Power Rangers. And I said, I'm really interested in what's going to happen on Hasbro Pulse's 1027. And he had no clue what it is. And it made me realize there's a lot of new Power Ranger fans collecting this year, especially because of the Master Morpher with PulseCon. Um, there's a lot more people that don't know like the ins and outs and how things are happening with Hasbro Pulse and the annual events. I knew there was a lot of people who didn't even know what PulseCon was before it happened. So we're going to explain what kind of 1027 is. So 1027 obviously happens on October 27th, but it is... Uh, in reference to their address, the original Hasbro headquarters, it is on 1027 Newberry Avenue in Pawtucket. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. So yes, that, that is in reference to that. So I remember like one year, uh, it was uh, the executive walking through the building, introducing us to different parts of the Hasbro headquarters, including like archives. They were going through like old toys and stuff, which was pretty cool. Um, the next year it was kind of similar introducing us to other people, but while they're doing this, they are doing like product reveals or giving us information on stuff like the it's coming up for the brands, like whether GI Joe or power Rangers, like for things that they own. Um, but it includes like star Wars and Marvel and stuff like that. So I want to say two years ago, they did it and they had no product reveals during the stream for power Rangers, but they talked about power Rangers, Dino Fury season two. That was coming up and there was a big interview with Simon Bennett and he was talking about where the, the season could be going and stuff like that. The interesting thing about that is when it came time to order the Hasbro Pulse premium members right off the bat got to see that they actually released Zane the silver in space uh, silver ranger that was the first time it was revealed but it had not been talked about in the stream and i know josh from toku topics likes to make a point they have never announced this figure it just showed up to order and we all know that was a walgreens exclusive and basically one of the most harder power rangers lightning collection figures to get because it was never really offered in stores very much it wasn't even found until recently into some stores and even then it's it's sporadic and uh yeah that was the first time you were able to order it and i remember it sold out before the first hour for the pulse premium members so even some pulse premium members didn't get to order it within that first hour which was insane it sold out super quick um the next year last year which was like a big big year for 1027 and Power Rangers because not only did they have product reveals, but they talked about the upcoming Cosmic Fury at that time. We didn't know very much about it, but they talked about once and always and gave us like an idea of who was gonna be in it. And it was awesome. So we knew that David Yost and, and Walter Jones were coming back, but we got to see like Catherine Sutherland. We got to see uh, Steve Cardenas. And then we got in introduced to uh, Charlie Kirsch who played Min Kwan. And we got that first big cast photo of the entire cast of Once and Always. That's where it all started. As far as product reveals, we got the Silver in Space Ranger with the Cycle, and we got the Blue Centurion that time for pre-order. So last year for 1027, it was really good for Power Rangers fans. We got a bunch of information, we got two product reveals, and it was awesome. So uh, 1027 is not meant to be bigger than PulseCon. Usually the whole event is like maybe from like an hour to two hours, and that's it. And they usually do it in the afternoon also, like for after work, and it's usually... Uh, it's not usually on a Friday, but like it's usually like after in the afternoon hours. I remember that. So what's going to happen this year? Because we keep on hearing that the Lightning Collection is going to go on a hiatus. But we also have some things that we know are supposed to be coming out that we've heard nothing about. So the first thing we want to talk about is the Yellow Ranger helmet. We have heard that this thing has been coming out. We've heard leaks. We've heard it from Toku Topic. Several sources around the Power Rangers community that this Helmet is ready to go and ready to at least be pre-ordered and it's already been designed and everything. So it could stand to reason that we could possibly get the Yellow Ranger helmet finally announced 
at 1027. I don't know. I want to preface this that I have no inside information from this. So this is just me kind of speculating what is going to happen at 1027. I think the worst thing that could happen at 1027 is nothing. That would like concern me a lot for the future of Power Rangers and whether we're getting some more Lightning Collection releases staggered throughout the year until supposedly the reboot is coming. But the Yellow Ranger helmet would be the first on my list on it being revealed for 1027, especially if we're not really going to do things for like, you know, fan streams for Power Rangers. If we have nothing really coming up, 1027 would be a great time for them to reveal the Yellow Ranger helmet. People are asking for it. And not only that, if you continue the helmets, that almost implies that you're going to do a Black Ranger helmet and then a Green Ranger helmet. And that implies that the lightning collection will continue and let people calm down a little bit about it being canceled because we know none of us really want this to be canceled we all want it to go on we love the lightning collection we love power rangers being in stores constantly and for it to be on hiatus is kind of like a downer for a lot of us so it'd be a great great time for them to launch the yellow ranger helmet Another thing that we have not heard about, and I honestly have not talked about it very much, especially on videos, I've talked about it on some live streams, but we have not heard anything on the supposed Tiger Zord that was supposed to come out. So uh, we had a leak that they were planning a Tiger Zord. I don't know if it got past more like the development, but this was all around the time that Jason David Frank passed away. So it very well could have been canceled. We have heard it's been canceled from different sources, but it's an idea a tiger resort eventually could be on its way i don't know um my my gut tells me it probably got canceled dealing with jdf's passing especially since we've gotten the master morpher we've gotten the black dino thunder ranger figure and i think that's been really heavy on jdf stuff since he passed and i think they're trying to be careful with that but it's a possibility that tiger resort is something that could come up um, and it'd be really interesting and it would surprise everyone because every nobody has heard it since it leaked and since that little image that we got that Hasbro Pulse was planning a Tiger Zord project for the Zap Megazord line. We all know that the Zap Megazord line has had so many issues with quality control and just it was supposed to be such a great thing. Um, prices have been all over the place with it, um, but they are really nice items. Um, and Tiger Zord would complement it really well. And it would also insinuate again, if you're going to do Tiger Zord, well, it kind of stands to reason that you would do the Thunder Megazord, right? So that kind of gives an idea of we, we might get something in the future if we get another Zap Megazord because all the Megazords are sort of connected unless they start, you know, do a Titanus or something like that. Then we know, okay, that may, it may just be releasing that because that's the last one they need of the Dino Megazords. But if they get started a new line of Zords, I think that would be really indicative on the future of uh, the Lightning Collection. Other ideas that they could release is they could finally release those gender swap rangers from the Boom comics. You know, where the ones where uh, Billy is the Black Ranger and Zack is the pink ranger i think kimberly is the blue ranger and then we already got uh the jason is the yellow ranger and trini is the red ranger so we know that those are coming according uh to josh from toku topics i think there's a morphinaut that we're also getting like the white version of the phantom ranger that's supposed to be coming as well i don't know if those would be some good reveals i think those are things that'd be cool like to see to come up like oh randomly we got a power ranger figure to reveal here you go but for 1027 for a big event I think it's got to be flashy. And so I'm thinking it's probably going to be, if anything, the Yellow Ranger helmet. I would love to see it to come out because I know so many people always ask me, what about the Yellow Ranger helmet? What about the Black Ranger helmet? What about the Green Ranger helmet? My answer is, I know nothing about a Black Ranger helmet. I know nothing about a Green Ranger helmet, but we've heard about the Yellow Ranger helmet. And like I said, it'd be indicative that they're going to finish the helmets if they're going to release another helmet. Because if they were going to cancel the line, why would you release a Yellow Ranger helmet? Then, like I said, my worst fear is nothing could happen. And that's not good. <laughs> so uh, other years we've had to be a talk about stuff like Dino Fury, Cosmic Fury, or something like that. Once and always with last year. This year we have nothing much to talk about. Um, Cosmic Fury has already come out. Unless they kind of review it or something like that. Or maybe they reveal some figures for Cosmic Fury. Like the basic kid figures that we get at Target that are like the $10 ones. Those would be cool. Again, this is a Hasbro Pulse event, so they don't really sell those basic line figures on Hasbro Pulse. So that gives me an idea, like it would be something Lightning Collection or something collector grade for sure. But uh, yeah, uh, last thing, they could announce the Hasla, the Power Axe and the Power Bow. Something tells me they're not going to, 
Uh, well, they still have the giant man has lab going on right now. I know since a couple years ago, they've been really careful about not having multiple has labs go at the same time because especially like the star Wars ones had failed before. I think the has lab, oh, man, I have a feeling they're going to announce the has lab during Christmas time. And I think that'd be the worst idea. Um, I, they should definitely announce the has lab if they're going to have it like in February when people are starting to get their income tax checks, uh, when people are recovering from Christmas, from spending and stuff like that. I think, ordering a HasLab during Christmas time is very, very scary, especially with how fragile the Power Rangers brand and the Lightning Collection in particular. I would, um, hopefully they don't announce the HasLab during Christmas time. Now, if they announced it earlier, like right now, like during 1027, I, that'd be interesting. I just don't think they would overlap it with the Giant Man HasLab that's going on right now. And especially because as of I'm making this video, it has not funded and it is not for sure that people are gonna get it because it hasn't met its goal. So, yeah, I mean, the HasLab could be something that they talk about. Maybe they could tease the HasLab. That's a possibility. Maybe we don't have a product reveal during 1027, but they said, hey, Power Rangers fans, don't worry. Something may, something's coming. And, you know, it's a tease for the HasLab or something like that. Or, you know, they do their horrible shadows and you're like, we know what that is. Something like that. But that's a possibility as well. That'd be interesting. Uh, kind of thinking about that possibility right now on camera, just talking about it, that they don't do product reveals, but they kind of tease a HasLab. I wonder what that would mean. So guys, that's all I have today. I want to talk about 1027. Guys, I don't even know if 1027 is official yet. Uh, they haven't announced it yet. Uh, they usually announce it like somewhere between like the 15th and the 19th of October. So we're still a little bit early. They may not be having it this year. Uh, my guess is they're having it. Uh, they had PulseCon actually a little bit earlier this year than they usually do. I remember one year we had PulseCon one week and next week was 1027. So I know they've been pushing back PulseCon so they can have 1027 at the end of the month. So that's that could be announced pretty soon. But hopefully we get some idea of what's going on soon or just something for Power Rangers in general. That'd be great. Guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you want to see a helmet come up on 1027? Do you want to see it come up in general? Or would you like to see some of the figures come out? I want to see something that we don't know about. Everything gets leaked. I want to know. I want them to reveal something that's like nobody had no clue was coming, which would be awesome. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And y'all know what time it is. It's more than time.